One of the real challenges with the clean energy transition is that we need to treble the amount of renewables we've got by just by 2030 and then treble again by 2050. Renewables have been deployed massively in the last years and energy storage has not kept up with the pace of that deployment. The more and more variable renewables you put on the system, the deeper and deeper the storage that you need. Kamega Hydropower Complex is composed of three power plants and three dams. Two of these power plants are conventional power plants with a power plant at the foot of the dam. And the other one is a pump storage power plant called GoVice with four reversible units. Once the hydropower complex is fully operational, we are able to store energy for 11 million domestic consumers, so the whole population of Portugal. The most innovations in Pump Hydro are related to finding new locations or using the existing ones. And that's the beauty about reversible pump hydro turbines. When the system requires the energy, we are able to connect our turbines directly to the grid in less than two minutes. This means flexibility. So when we are uh, producing energy with the whole pump storage power plant of GovWines, we are able to provide energy for the whole metropolitan area of Porto. 90% of the time, the units are reversible and are working, either in pump or turbine mode. So when we have a surplus of production, we need to take advantage of this energy to pump the water from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir, and we are able to store 20 gigawatts hour of energy. So we're witnessing an amazing growth in renewables and in this context it is clear that energy storage is going to become crucial. In Spain and Portugal we are in a very unique geography and it's going to become one of the first geographies to reach 70-80% renewables by 2030 and this is due to the fact that we have renewables and that we can store it. This complex here that we have showcases that example of how energy storage is helping the grid because we can store vast amounts of energy in order to help the grid uh, decarbonize very quickly. I think one of the fantastic things about this project is its scale and the ambition and it's really demonstrating to stakeholders around the world that we need to build projects at this sort of scale and that it can be done. You know, it's, it's showcasing to, I think, policymakers and investors and the wider energy community worldwide that action is needed, it can be taken, and that people are serious about decarbonizing and thinking about the challenges of the future, not just the challenges of today. At Iberdrola, we are now retrofitting conventional hydro plants and changing the equipment of the turbine with a reversible pump hydro turbine in order to have pump hydro storage with existing reservoirs. So it's a hundred year old technology, but we're still seeing a lot of evolution and new capacity coming online. It is amazing to see how this project uh, has evolved. This is a hundred percent greenfield project. We are all, all of us very, very proud what we have achieved. We can and must build projects at this scale to secure the energy transition. There's no getting around it. We need to build a vast amount of infrastructure if we're going to stop climate change. So it's essential we start deploying longer and longer duration storage technologies now in order to keep the lights on and decarbonize the energy system.